Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 14th of 2023. Well, it is titled three planets rock. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, the rock, and then up above it, we see three of the four brightest objects that are visible in the sky. Now, what are we missing? Well, we're missing the sun. And of course, the sun can wash out the other objects, depending on exactly where they happen to be. So what, we're, what are we seeing here? Well, let's go ahead and label the objects that we see. And those are Jupiter off to the left, Venus up to the top and off to the right is the crescent moon. So all three of these so the sun is the brightest object in the sky as we know our moon is the second brightest object in the sky followed by Venus and then Jupiter. So these are some of the objects that were known to ancient astronomers and which they followed around and studied how they moved in the sky to help to build various calendars. Now our moon we notice there is a very thin crescent that's what we call a waning crescent the left hand side of it being illuminated and that is when it is visible in the morning sky. So this image was taken about a year and a half ago in April of 2022 and at that point Venus was the morning star in the morning sky right before sunrise and very prominent there and Jupiter happened to be in the same general di direction which we call a conjunction. Now a conjunction occurs when two astronomical objects are relatively close together in the sky. If one actually passes in front of the other, then we get a occultation which is much more rare. So they can pass close or very close together. In this case, they are about three degrees apart. So how do we measure that? Well, we could estimate it using the full moon and you might be able by looking at this to guess that you might be able to fit about six full moons in between them, the moon being half a degree in diameter. And therefore, that would give us about three degrees apart. So conjunctions can be much better than that when you can get objects even closer together. But it just depends on the details of the orbit when the planets happen to pass close together. Now, if you notice that the moon, you can see the entire surface of the moon, but only part of it is bright. That is because the darker part, the part that is not being illuminated by the sun at this phase is still being illuminated by what we call Earth shine. And that is sunlight that strikes Earth and then strikes the moon and comes back to Earth. So it's going to be much fainter because it's only a small fraction of the light that would hit the moon directly. But it does allow us to see some of the surface of the moon, even when the rest of it would normally be hidden. So it shines by that reflected light of the sunlight off of the Earth. So here we get to see three, three of the four brightest objects in the sky and not that far away from the fourth appearing. Although as that sun begins to rise, of course, the other objects will be very, very hard to see. So that was our picture of the day for November 14th of 2023. It was titled Three Planets Rock. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.